Okay, in this video I'm going to be having a little play with this thing, which is a Sony PCM-F1 digital audio processor. Basically, a DAC and an analog digital converter in one box, but instead of outputting to the more usual SPDIF digital format, it takes input and output in the form of composite video, which can then be recorded on a video recorder, typically one of these which is a Sony SLF-1. Sadly, this one doesn't work. So, uh, for the purposes of this testing, I'm going to be using a little VHS machine. Uh, the only drawback with this VHS machine is its only inputs and outputs are on these SCART connectors. So, what I'm going to have to use is these breakout cables, which convert, basically just convert the SCART connectors into multiple phonos which I can then connect into the PCM-F1 and also a monitor for, for uh, monitoring what's going on. So, without further ado, let's get this thing powered up. And to do so, I need to use this separate box, which is its power supply. All the quite nice matching set, and the VCR matches as well if you can use it, but sadly I can't in this instance. So let's get this all hooked up. OK, just to briefly explain what I've got set up here, I've got a DVD player here, which I'm just going to use as a, an audio source, a CD player. Um, so the analogue outputs, audio outputs from that, are going into the analogue audio inputs of the PCM-F1. The video output from the PCM-F1 is then going into this top video recorder. I couldn't use that one in the end because um, the SCART connector on the back turned out to be faulty. So I've had to get a different video recorder, but it's just a, a similar basic domestic VHS recorder. Um, the video output from that video recorder is then going back into the video input of the PCM-F1. And just so I know what's going on, and I've hooked up an RF cable, would you believe, from the video recorder into the TV. The reason I've done that is, although there's two SCART connectors on this machine, uh, one of those SCARTs is an input only, doesn't carry an output. So I never thought I'd use an RF cable again, but I've actually used one in this setup just so I can monitor what's going on on the TV screen. So if I, this disc just contains a 1 kHz sine wave at 0 dB. That's just to help me set the levels on here. Actually, that looks pretty good. So that should be 0 dB on both channels. Looks pretty good. So if I now take that disc out and play some proper music through it, it's just a track from a production music library. That looks good. Obviously the sound quality is going to be awful because it's just coming through the speakers on this little tiny TV. OK, so if we uh, put a VHS tape in, no special tapes, an old used tape, well-worn, nothing particularly special about it. Let's double check we're on short play. I'll do the test twice, once in short play and once in long play. Just push speed, make, oh, that's, yeah, that's definitely in short play. So if I, right, so to get to the beginning of the track, we have to take the disc out. Start recording and load the disc and it should start playing track one. Oh, one other thing, I've set the switch on the back of the PCM-F1 to 16-bit. So that should now be recording away in short play, 16-bit digital audio. Right, that's, let's now change the VCR over to long play, which I hope you can do while it's recording. Yes, you can. That's now recording in long play mode. And we'll just play the same track again on the CD player. So that's now recording in 16-bit digital audio in long play.
Okay, that's that captured. So what I shall do now is stop the recorder, rewind it. So I'm going to play that tape back into the PCMF1 and as I do that I'll give you a direct audio hookup directly from the audio analog audio output connectors on the PCMF1 so you can hear what it sounds like. So the first time you hear the track it will be from the short play recording, the second time you hear the track it will be from the long play recording. So let's hit play and see what we get. Okay, that was the short play recording. Now hopefully we should see the VCR switch to long play. Yep, there we go, and it'll auto track again. Now we should get the long play version. I'll switch you back to the direct audio feed.
Well, I don't know about you, but to my untrained ear, that sounded extremely good. Perfect, in fact. Couldn't tell any difference between that recording and the original. So, um, in theory, you could get eight hours of 16-bit PCM digital audio on a single VHS tape. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.